So I've been using the Sway Window Manager now for about three weeks, and I probably won't make a full-on review of Sway. I'll probably do a, like, how to rice Sway video here, here in a week or so. But other than that, my conclusions of Sway were basically covered in the first impressions video. Sway is really good. It's an i3 clone, basically, and it just works really well. If you've used i3 before, you've basically used Sway. I will talk about the way bar situation in another video, probably when I do that whole ricing video later on. So that'll be a little bit different. But other than that, it's basically i3. What I wanted to talk about today is Wayland. And I touched on Wayland a little bit towards the end of that first impressions video. And I wanted to talk about how those thoughts have kind of permeated my experience over the last three weeks. Because when it all comes down to the end, the reason why Sway exists is because of Wayland. Like, otherwise it's just i3. The only reason it was created was because they wanted i3 or something like i3 that worked on Wayland and WL Roots and all this stuff. All the stuff that goes into making Wayland a thing, right? And they've done that and they've done a good job at it and it works really well. So Wayland itself, I'm ready to admit, is ready for me. I can't speak to whether it'll be ready for you because it still has some peculiarities when it comes to hardware support and stuff like that. Like, it still doesn't work all that well on NVIDIA from what I hear. I don't have an NVIDIA card, so I can't test that. But depending on your hardware, Wayland may not be ready for you. It may not ever be ready at this point. Who knows? We'll have to wait and see. But the point is, is that for me, Wayland is ready. I can make videos on it. I can share my screen here if I wanted to. I can do everything that I could possibly do on Xorg on Wayland, and it works fine. The question that I've been thinking about, and I talked a little bit about this at the end of the first impressions video, and I want to talk about more of it now, is I still don't get why. Like, I don't, I, I don't get why Wayland is here. I don't get what Wayland gives me that Xorg doesn't. So there are some answers to this question, that I'll probably hear about in the comments. So one of them is security, one of them is better multi-monitor support, and one of them is lack of screen tearing. Those are the three that I know for sure are things that are benefits over what XOR does. So let's talk about those things in terms of user-facing goodness. So security, no one really cares about security. I know that I'm going to hear from a ton of people in the comment section that, oh, I care about security. When it comes to the security of your display server, no, you don't. No, you don't. I mean, maybe vaguely in the way that you care about global warming or something like that, you care about the security of your display server. For the most part, people have been using Xorg for decades happily, and it has been just as insecure now as it always has been it's always been a mess and it's always been old like it's it's been around since the like 1979 or something like that. it's been around for 40 years it's been a long a long long time and uh yeah it's not being maintained anymore it's not being actively developed or whatever but security at the end of the day is not a user facing feature that most people care about actively like maybe a worry in the back of their minds you know like oh my god this is insecure but for the most part, that's a worry that they don't have front and center in their face every single day. It's just, as long as their system works, it doesn't matter. So I, I know that stance on security is going to be unpopular. But I think that for a lot of people, that's the way they look at it. If it's not a problem that is glaringly in their face, they're not going to, it's not going to be something that they worry about actively. So security, when it comes to being a benefit for Wayland, not that big a deal. I'm happy that it's more secure. Still don't care all that much. Uh, the second one was better multi-monitor support. Now, when I say multi-monitor support, really what you get here is better support for monitors that have different resolutions. So Xwork is notorious for not doing very well when it comes to supporting monitors with different resolutions. So say you have two monitors, one's 1080p, one's 4K. Xorg's not going to handle that with any sort of grace without a ton of tweaking. It can be done. I don't want to hear from people who say, well, it's just never going to work. It works just fine as long as you know what you're doing and you do enough tweaking. Like, it will take some effort to get that situation to work properly. 
It obviously gets more complicated if you start rotating your monitors and putting them in different positions and stuff like that. The more complex your monitor setup, the harder it is to get it to work in XWork. That's 100% fair. In Wayland, that situation is not as big of a problem because it's meant to work really well. Now, it's not just Wayland, it's WL Roots and all this stuff. So when I say Wayland, I mean the whole umbrella of things that go with Wayland. For simplicity's sake, just know that multi-monitor support for Wayland and all that stuff that goes with it is really good. The thing is, is that it doesn't affect me and it doesn't affect most people. Like most people use their computers on one monitor. Developers use their computers on multiple monitors. That's true. And they, developers and, you know, coders and geeks, really, nerds, are more likely to use multi-monitors in different setups and different varying set setups in terms of, you know, display resolution and uh, frame rate and stuff like that. So it does have an effect on some small group of people, but for, I think, the vast majority of people who use just one monitor or a laptop even it's not that big of a deal. So again, I'm speaking of this from a per personal perspective. I really shouldn't generalize and try to put that perspective on other people because it, how we use our computers is very personal to us. So I use my computer in one way, you use your computer in another way. So it's going to be different for both of us. So you may find that multi-monitor support beneficial. I do not. Both of my, my monitors are 1080p. They're different sizes, but they both use the same resolution. So I'm one of those crazy people, really like terrible eyesight or something that I just can't tell the difference between 1080p and 4K. Never have been. I can't see the pixels on this. I'm far enough away. I mean, I suppose maybe if I put my face right up, snap, you know, up against the monitor, maybe I'll see them. But I'd have other problems if I was having to do that. So from a personal perspective, that part of Whalen doesn't apply to me. So the third one was screen tearing. And this one is one that I actually have benefited from. So we finally got to something that Wayland has given me. And I don't, I shouldn't have said given me, like something that Wayland has provided, you know, some, some kind of benefit that I've actually been able to take advantage of. And screen tearing has been a problem on Xorg since Xorg existed. It's not a new problem whatsoever. And because that's true, there are workarounds galore when it comes to fixing screen tearing on Xorg. So you, you can use vSync, you can do the whole xorg.comp thing, changing the configuration file so that it does all the tear-free stuff. You know, there's multiple different workarounds to get screen tearing to go away. And if you've used Xorg in the past and you've had screen tearing, you know those workarounds and you do those. Every time you install a distro, you do those things and wham, no more screen tearing. So going into Wayland, it was nice not to have to do those things. I will freely admit that. But the thing is, is that I'm used to doing those workarounds. So it's not as if it fixed it because I fixed it in Xorg. You fixed it, worked around it, but you know what I mean. So I didn't actually see the difference between Xorg and Wayland in, in that way, right? Neither one of them have screen tearing now because I fixed it in Xorg. Wayland doesn't have it. So it worked fine. I didn't see the benefit of it, even though it's technically there. So those are the three things, right? And despite my rambly nature, you kind of get the point, right? Maybe there are more benefits out there. I'm sure there are. In terms of development, probably Wayland is easier for them to develop, although it seems more complex to me. Granted, I'm not a developer, so the fact that it feels like it's coming in pieces, so like you have WL Roots, you have Wayland itself, you have Pipewire, and all this stuff is supposed to work together, and all this stuff, it feels like it's a... It feels like they're recreating System D, if, if that makes sense. So the, it basically... System D is a umbrella for a whole bunch of different applications that do different things. It's not only an init system, but it does journaling and all this stuff. Like system D is huge. And that kind of feels like what they're doing with Wayland. Wayland is an umbrella term for a whole bunch of other things that work together to do many different things. And that feels more complex to me than XOR. Granted, I, like I said, I'm not a developer, so... I couldn't even tell you how Xorg is put together. Maybe Xorg is done the same way. In fact, I'm pretty sure it is. But, you know, you kind of get the idea that this whole situation is boiling down to one question that I have to ask them is, like, why are we doing this to ourselves? Why have we 
spent the last 10, 12, 13, whatever years it is, developing Waylon, trying to get it to go mainstream, trying to get it to the point where you can switch from Xorg to Wayland and be perfectly happy. Why have we done that for what I see is mediocre benefits at best from a user perspective? Like I said, there might be development advantages, and there probably are that I just don't understand, so... I'm sure that someone in the comments down there is typing frantically away, Matt, these are the reasons why you should use Wayland, why Wayland's, but Wayland's better. I understand. Like, I, I, can, I can get it. But from a user perspective, it just doesn't seem like there's a big enough advantage for this to ha change to have been necessitated. Right? Why? It, it, that, it all boils down to why, and I don't get it. Wayland's fine. It, it is now to the point where I can say it's fine. It works. But... So what? So does Xorg. So does Xorg. I've been using Xorg now since I started using Linux. And I've been using it in every window manager that I've ever used, every desktop environment that I've ever used. Also, my screen keeps turning off. And that's annoying AF. So just that's the reason why I keep having to type in my damn password because the screen keeps turning off. N neither here nor there. It's not a Wayland problem. It does it on Xorg too. So the, the, where was I? I was talking about, you know... I've been using I've been using Xorg on everything since I started using Linux and it works really well. Like from a user perspective, it works really well. So the only thing that I can the only conclusion that I can reach is that the reason why we did this was because fixing Xorg or fixing the perceived security flaws or whatever it is in Xorg was perceived as too hard. So they decided just to not do Xorg anymore and do something new. They figured it was easier to create Wayland and do all the things that Wayland needed to be done in order to get it to work. They figured it was easier to do all that work than to fix Xorg. That's the only thing I can think of as the reason why we're doing this or why we have done this, because it's done. I mean, it's not done, but you get the idea. Like, it's here. The future that is Wayland has arrived. A lot of distros use Wayland as default including the largest distros in our world, Ubuntu, Fedora, Arch, you know, in, in various instances when you want to install a desktop environment on Arch, you're probably going to use Wayland in some form, or you, at least you can, you know what I mean? So Wayland is here. So they've done all this, and the reason why I think that they've done this is because of those development advantages or the fact that Xorg was too broken, whatever. I just don't get the user-facing advantages. Like, I don't get it. Maybe I'm just being an idiot. It's possible. 100% likely, in fact. There are things that I just don't know, that I don't see, or that I don't use. And that, that's the reason why I don't get it. You know, like I said, maybe it's the mo multi-monitor support thing. Like, I don't have that problem, so therefore it doesn't feel like a big deal to me, right? If that part does fix a problem for you, it probably does feel like a big deal, and therefore Wayland is awesome, Right. For me personally, it doesn't, so therefore it feels like not such a big deal. So there may be other things out there like that that just don't affect me, therefore I don't consider them you know, a big deal or I just don't know about them, whatever. But at the point where I'm at right now, after having used this for three weeks, I still just, why? Like, what? What for? Like, why would I spend time... To switch to this now if i'm just using you know if i just install a distro and it's using wayland i'm no longer going to go searching for the xorg version it's at the point now where i can use wayland perfectly happily and it's gonna be fine the thing is is that i can also be perfectly happy in xorg so if the district comes with an xorg you know de or a window manager or whatever i can be perfectly happy in that too so now they're basically interchangeable I mean, I suppose we're all going to be moving to Wayland. We basically all are anyways. It's the future, and the future's here. So, I, I, like I said, I, I don't know. It, it just it feels weird to me now that Wayland is usable, that I can start thinking about these more deeper questions. And just kind of, just, I don't, it makes me scratch my head. I don't, I don't, I don't understand why. So, maybe somebody in the comment section can explain to me why Wayland is. Like, it feels a really weird to to ask a question like that. But why is Wayland? What 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 does Wayland provide you? Answer that in the questions below. If you use Wayland, what does it give you that Xorg can't? I'd love to know. I'm sure there's good answers. There has to be like that, that's the whole thing about this is that there has to be a good answer to that question, and I just don't know it. 
I want to know it. So again, in the comment section below, let me know what your thoughts are. I'd love to hear from you. You can follow me on Mastodon or Odyssey. Those links will be in the video description. You can support me on Patreon at patreon.com slash linuxcast, just like all these fine people. I've also been asked to mention the Libera Pay link in the video description. That's supposedly more open and open source and stuff like that. So if you don't want to support me on Patreon, you can support me there. I also have a YouTube join membership thing down there. Those links will be in the video description as well. So, so thanks everybody who is a patron and YouTube for your support. Thanks everybody for watching. I'll see you next time.